It's more tears for occupants of Abule Ado as three more bodies were evacuated following the explosion that happened on Sunday. I was in the bathroom when the uh, thing started. Like, I was want to take my bath. I want to have my bath. Like, thing just, that's what you just hear is boom everywhere. It's a pipeline explosion. That's what we can say for now. Mr. Governor has directed that we should increase our strength to join the Lagos State uh, Emergency Management Agency, uh, who are still busy doing search and rescue. And after that, we're going to the next phase, which is the clean up exercise. This Catholic school, the Bethlehem Girls School, is one of the schools that is counting its loss um, following yesterday's explosion. This right here and this is what is remaining from this building which was inhabited by a Reverend Father who reportedly held a mass here yesterday morning. I'm also told that the principal of this school had also lost her life. Plus, TV Africa correspondent Mary Chinda, who monitored the situation today, joins us live from our newsroom. Over to Mary Chinda. Now, what was the situation like today in that place? Okay, so it's really a Black Monday as Lagosians are mourning their losses. Some mourning their dead and others, you know, um, shedding tears over the millions of naira that has been wasted you know following the explosion right now we're not sure what exactly this explosion was about we, we're not sure if it is a, a pipeline um, explosion or as the residents of the area are alleging if it was a bomb explosion i spoke with the um nscdc boss in lagos and he told me that it was a fuel tanker that actually exploded. We're waiting to find official statement from the government on what the cause of this explosion is. But one thing you cannot take away is the, is the quantity of damage that has been done in the Abul Abdo area of Festac in Lagos. In your report, there are three more bodies were found today. You, you want to tell us about the death toll? Yes, 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 Benny. I said yesterday, um, all over the media and from statistics we're getting from government, while the evacuation was still ongoing, we had 16 bodies. But as of today, while we were still at the scene of the incident, we had three bodies. Um, you, you could see the body bags that were that were shown earlier during um, the, the the report. So we had three more bodies. Three, including a cook. We know that the principal of the school had actually lost her life, sadly, while she was trying to evacuate the student. And then she was just on her way again when she, 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 she collapsed under the rubbles and she had actually lost her life. So we had three more dead bodies today and then added to the 16 officially yesterday. But there is a concern that government is a little slow with the evacuation. As at yesterday evening, we had a little girl who was about two years plus who was actually rescued. And they are concerned that if government could expedite action on the rescue operations, as of today, there may have been a possibility of finding someone who's still alive. But that's not the case so far. Oh, since, since this incident occurred, there have been personalities, eminent personalities that have visited the scene, including the executive governor of Lagos State himself. Now, what, what would you say is the hope for the victims? Okay, so when the governor visited this morning, there was an announcement of, uh, of a two billion naira um, fund that is going to be set aside to try to, you know, help these people and help them to, you know, help survivors and victims to 
put their lives back together. But do you see the houses that have actually been damaged? We cannot talk about um, a lot of reward for the people who have lost their lives, but it's a good one that the Lagos State government has actually set some funds together, two billion naira. That's quite a lot of money to try to um, um, rehabilitate these people, to try to get them to find their, their lives again, fix the houses and all of that. So far, we had the governor of the state coming, and that's a good one. Of course, we've had from, from the presidency good um, um, messages to get to um, um, commiserate with Lagosians and the governor and all of that so far today. Mary Regina, thank you very much for this contribution. And as the events unfold, we'll bring you more details about it.